Hey, what's up? It's Emily Osment, and I am here answering a few questions from uh, some fans that sent in some, some interesting questions here. This one is from Jill from Amarillo, Texas. She wants to know, how, how did you get the part on Hannah Montana? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, the process is pretty interesting. It, it just involves auditioning and, um, you know, multiple script readings with, with people who've either already been cast or meeting with the director or the producer or that kind of thing. And I just went in on an audition and uh, I got called back a few times and just booked the part. It was pretty, pretty simple. Um, let's see. Next question. Uh, this is from Laurie from Medford, Oregon. She wants to know, what do you like better, music or TV? Um, you know, I feel like it's, 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 it's hard to even say just because when it comes to a music career and an acting career, it's so drastically different. Um, with acting, it's, it's very much, you know, its own entity. You're playing a character, you're analyzing a role, you're, you know, working very steadily. And I feel like with music, um, this music career is, is more personal and it's more me and I'm getting to write all the write all the music and and be in the studio and and be there with my producer and, and be up on stage and being me and I feel like it's so much different from just you know play playing a role putting on a putting on a show in that in that capacity so it's hard to decide which one I, I think I like better um, I kind of started with film but I I love music just the same and, and it's music's always been a hobby for me so it's cool that this is kind of a career now um, so that's a good question. Uh, this one is from Amy from Harrisburg. Uh, she wants to know, how would you describe your sound to someone who has never heard you before? Uh, when it comes to this record, I just released my record, Fight or Flight, about um, a month ago. And this record is very uh, dancey. It uh, definitely has a lot of, um, you know, Euro dubstep influence almost. And uh, I got one of the greatest producers on the planet to help me out with this one, Nellie Hooper, who who did all the uh, Gwen Stefani records and the Madonna records, and, and I love Gwen Stefani, so it kind of has that influence on it just a little bit. And uh, there are some definitely some intimate tracks. Um, I wrote a ton of music over the course of a year, and it was hard to narrow it down and, and find all these songs that really flowed pretty well. Um, and that's what a producer's for. So I feel like there's a lot of the there's a mix of a lot of different things, and no matter who you are and what life you lead, you can you can probably find something that's right for you. Um, it's uh, it's definitely a fun record. It's definitely a, a power power driving record, and uh, it uh, it's fun. It's definitely fun on stage and to do live. So check out my record. Soft promotion. <laughs> uh, this one is Ashley from Omaha. Uh, who are some of your favorite artists growing up? Um, <clears throat> um, when I was in gosh in like elementary school, I feel like I listened to a lot of. Um, I want to say, like, like Peter Frampton and, and almost the Beatles, of course, and, and uh, a little bit of Led Zeppelin just a bit. I got into it a little bit later, but um, in high school, it was really all about, like, Modest Mouse and Beck, and um, I was listening to a lot of uh, Incubus just because my brother was really into Incubus, and, and I'm still a huge fan of all those artists. So I was listening to bands that, that definitely... A hold up still today. Um, not a lot of pop acts. Um, definitely not a lot of rap or anything like that. I got into hip hop a little bit later, but just like the classic hip hop, like Wu Tang and, and Tribe Called Quest and that kind of thing. Um, so I was listening to good music in, in elementary school, and, and that helped because I had my brother who was always into into really cool stuff. Um, so that's a good question. Um, Allie from Philadelphia. She wants to know. Do you have a favorite moment during your time on Hannah Montana? Um, you know, there were a lot of really good times uh, on the show, and it lasted, you know, we were we were there almost five years. It was uh, four seasons, 101 episodes, um, day in, day out, week in, week out. It was, like, very, very, very long process, and I feel like sometimes it's bad because when it comes to TV, sometimes your memories kind of run together because you are working on on the same set and with the same people for so long so it's hard to differentiate between which episodes were when and here and that so that kind of thing but I feel like just in general the best moments of the show were when we had a really cool guest star or when we got to go on location somewhere or when we had a really cool guest director who we realized that we love so much like Bob Coher did a lot of our episodes in the final seasons and he was so great and so much fun and the director when it comes to TV is is very very important um, producers kind of run the show, but when it comes to directors, they kind of they go in and they go out. And when you find a good director for for a TV show, it's it's they make it so much more fun. So Bob Coher definitely one of my favorite parts. 
Um, Catherine from Eau Claire wants to know, how was your time on the Soda Pop Tour? Um, that's an excellent question. Uh, Soda Pop Tour was my first legitimate tour. It was the longest tour I've ever done to date. And uh, it was basically like a traveling circus of about 35 people. That's including, you know, production and, and front of house and sound and, and monitors and, and all that kind of stuff. Like everybody together, lights, everybody was together. And we had, I think we had three, two buses and like four vans. And everybody was together constantly. And it was such a great group of people traveling around. And I have I feel like Toronto is like my second home now, or like Canada, just because I have so many friends in Canada now. And we, we went west to east, we went, um, I think we did Vancouver all the way to Toronto. So we, we basically crossed Canada and played every little tiny little town, whether it be um, God, North Bay, Thunder Bay, and we went, we went everywhere. And it was really fun. And I got to really meet the Canadian fans, and there's, who are, there's a ton of them out there, which is so cool. And uh, it was my first time playing two shows in a row sold out in the same venue and that's never happened before um, and that was really cool uh, so it was a really fun time I think it was a really well run tour and it was completely supported by um, God, uh, you know just amazing people a lot of really cool stuff um, so that was really fun I have a lot of I have a lot of friends from that tour and, and I have really really fond memories whether it be pictures and music that I can correlate back to that time um, so and obviously, if you go on Twitter, you can find all my ridiculous tweets from from how much fun I was having on tour. So I really love tour, as you could tell. Um, uh, James from Evansville wants to know how do you get to hang out with Miley Cyrus often? Um, no, honestly, no. Just we <laughs> we just spent four years together, every single day of our lives. So um, we're kind of <laughs> we're okay not hanging out every single day. Uh, anymore. Uh, she's a good friend of mine and, and I talk to her often and her birthday is actually coming up, um, which I'm actually not going to be able to make, so she's not very happy with me right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, everybody on the set's definitely still friends. Um, Adam from Birmingham. Oh, I love Birmingham. He wants to know, I heard that you were a physics major at college in California. How is that going? I'm not a physics major. No, no, no. Um, I am going to, I, I am, I have plans in to go to college in, in California. I've been accepted to to a college that I'm really, really love, and uh, we'll be able to go next year, hopefully. Um, I think what was mistaken is when I was talking about physics, I, I realized I'm not a science girl, I'm not a math girl, I'm definitely like other side of the brain uh, with English and history and, and, and art and that kind of thing. Um, science was interesting because I took it for the last final years of, of high school, and uh, I really loved it, and I was joking around and being like, ah, I could be a physics major because I don't want to be an English major or a theater major because I, I kind of, you know, I already know that I love that. Um, but uh, how is it going? Well, hopefully it'll go well when I start next year. I'm excited. Uh, Robin from Missoula wants to know what are some of the things that help you, what are some of the things that help motivate you to do better when someone criticizes you? It's an interesting way to word that. Um, um, you know, I feel like everyone's a critic. And uh, everyone's going to give their own opinion, and everyone's going to have their own say and how they feel. And the best thing to do is just listen to a few people. Only listen to the ones that you truly trust that are close to you. And I feel like if you if you go online looking for critics and you, you, you search the Internet looking to see how people are perceiving you, then you're going to get in trouble. Um, but I never have to be like, oh, that person doesn't like me. I have to boost myself up or whatever. I, I, it's all right. You, you, you don't have to like me if you, if you don't want um, so I think that's a good, that's a good kind of a attitude to have. Um, I think everybody should definitely have that attitude. Um, Riley from Salt Lake City, Utah. I spent a lot of time in Salt Lake. I love Salt Lake. Uh, where do you see yourself? He says. That's not really a question. Um, I think he probably mean to say, where do you see yourself in a few years? Because that's usually what follows that. Um, that's it's just blank. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hopefully, um, still working in film, still still making really interesting, weird records. I gotta get everybody on my bandwagon first with with the pop the pop records, and then I'll do my strange, indie, crazy, you know, acoustic records, uh, which will come. Uh, so uh, hopefully, doing a lot of that. Hopefully, doing some film. Hopefully, living in a really cool environment in a cool place. I'd I'd love to just live on an island somewhere. 
Um, let's see, Liz from Junction City, Kansas. Are there any countries you really want to tour? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, you know what's great about social networking is very scary. It's so, social networking can also be very beneficial for a lot of things because you can you can instantly tell where you're getting your responses from. Um, I used to get, I still do get a lot of responses from Brazil. So we went to Brazil and we played some shows, and they were to this day probably the best shows that we've ever done. So I, I, I mean, that was that was an amazing time. I actually, I, I feel like we have a lot of fans in Austria. So I want to go to Austria, all on the other side of that, I a um, little bit southern. I'd love to go to Australia. Australia's beautiful. I've been there before on vacation, but never, uh, never for tour. Good excuse to go. Um, Kim from Tucson says, "Do you feel like you missed out on anything growing up since you've been acting on a set your whole life?" Uh, I feel like that's a common question. Um, Luckily, I am the type of person who views this as a career and not as a lifestyle. Um, so it's it's I don't get caught up in it, and I and I'm not lit. This is not my only thing that I'm living for. I, I have a very normal life at home. I went to high school. I'm going to college. I grew up in LA. I've got tons of friends from like camp and you know my golf team and weird stuff like that. Uh, church, you know. So I, I have all those normal friends that I grew up with. So. If my whole life was showbiz, I think that would be a, a detriment to my personality. Um, so I don't feel like I miss too much. I mean, I, I didn't go to prom, but then again, do you really need to go to prom? Uh, Dana from Baton Rouge. Oh, Louisiana. I'm going to Louisiana actually in, in a week. I'm playing a show there. I'm so excited. Um, what kind of stuff were you doing before Hannah Montana? Oh, you know, soccer. Um, stuff you do in sixth grade. I don't know. I feel like my entire past years of my life have been the entirety of Hannah Montana correlated right along with parallel to my life in high school. So, um, you know, before that, I was I was I was when it comes to work, I I I, I did some I did a few movies and and you know, did a few guest spots on TV and, and was working on a working on a music career, writing down some funny little lyrics in my room. So. Um, let's see, what else? Kelly from Lebanon, what is the best way for you to connect with your fans? Uh, tour, touring is the best way. And to put out music that um, you guys want to buy and listen to and so I can come to your city and play some shows and, and see you that way. Face to face is the best way to connect. Um, Twitter's great because I can instantly see replies. Um, Facebook's awesome. Sharing photos and that kind of thing. But honestly, face to face is, is actually really, really the best way to do it. Um, Jackie from Detroit, do you write your own music? What's your writing process? Uh, yes, I do write my own music. Um, so it took me like a year to finish this record after I had been talking about it forever. Um, it's finally out, which is great. Um, but I do, this entire record I feel like I wrote with um, pretty much one writer, Adam Schlesinger. We wrote about four or five of the, I think maybe five songs on the record together. Uh, he really taught me how to view a piece of music differently and change the way that you look at music so you can apply, you know, lyrics to them. In a it was just such an amazing experience working with him. And he allowed me to <laughs> to play on the demos and he allowed me to play bass on the demos and he allowed me to, to run, you know, the Pro Tools tracks. And he really gave me a hands-on experience when it came to writing in a studio. And uh, he let me do all my strange, weird lyrics and... Um, that was the coolest thing. Uh, but that's pretty, I mean, when it comes to writing process, it kind of is my writing process. It's not, it's not a routine. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. And I write it all different times of the day, and, and I'm inspired at weird parts of the day. And uh, I feel like the best thing to do is write every single day. And then by the end of the month, you might have something really cool. Uh, Bethany from Tulsa, Oklahoma. What can fans expect when they come to your concert? <clears throat> awesome things. Uh, good times. We just, uh, my band and I love playing live. And we have so much fun playing. And we want you guys to have so much fun playing. And, and I love physically being able to look at kids and see them singing and see them dancing and, and clapping and having a good time. And, um, that's what I want to do when I go, when I go to a show to an artist that, that I love. I I I want to connect with them and I want them to look right at me and and uh, I love going to shows like that where you can tell that that they are having fun because the audience is having a good time. Um, 
So just expect, you know, music and, and good times, I guess. Um, Christina from Orlando. Are there any artists you really want to collaborate with? That's a great question. I, I love, oh, God, who would I die to collaborate with? Honestly, um, I love Metric. I think Emily Haynes is really talented. And uh, I love Broken Social Scene as well, which is super group, which she's a part of as well. And uh, I think she's incredible. And I, I love... God, the way you can tell, you can just, you, when you listen to a metric song, you just know it's a metric song because the style is so, um, I don't know, it's just very individual and it's really cool. Either that or I love Mike Snow. I think writing with some of those guys from Mike Snow would be really cool. But then again, I love Danny O'Donoghue from the script. So I don't know, it's, it's hard, at, but definitely metric because she's amazing. And we have, we have some friends in common, actually, so it wouldn't be that hard. I love Canadian artists. All Canadian artists are so cool. Um, Christine from Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas. Um, what new music are you listening to right now? That's a great question. Uh, I just had this conversation. Um, music that I'm listening to right now, uh, it's funny. I'm actually listening to Damien Rice's first record. Oh, it's incredible. I just found, I, I didn't know a lot about Damien Rice, so I decided to get back into it. Um, but when it comes to new music, I'm listening to Local Natives. They're amazing. Um, Local Natives are really good. Oh, God. I'm listening to, like, weird dead mouse stuff. Um, I'm listening to Passion Pit, of course. Um, what else? Uh, Bowerbirds. Um, hmm. New Pornographers. Good stuff. Good music. Check it out. I'm waiting for that remix metric album. That better come out very soon. Uh, Megan from Columbus. Do you ever think you'll do a song with Miley? I did. I did do a song with Miley for the show. Um, it's called Wherever I Go. It's one of the last. It's in one of the last episodes of the show. It's it's a really good, really good song. Um, it was a it was a very fun experience um, because we've already we've <laughs> Miley and I go around singing on set, so we've always talked about doing it, um, and we we finally did. Um, let's see. I'm gonna find one last question. Uh, I love. Let's see. Hmm. Lauren from Scranton wants to know, Scranton, I love Scranton. Uh, are you similar to your character Lily on Hannah Montana? Not really. Um, she's quite silly and goofy, which I can be silly and goofy sometimes, but uh, she is not a, she's not a leader. She's definitely a follower. She relies on other people to guide her into who she wants to be. And um, Lily's the kind of person who's very outgoing, which I love, which I think we st kind of have that in common because we both are very outgoing people, but uh, not so much. And her clothing style is outrageous, um, but never do that crazy stuff to my hair in, in real life. But uh, Lily was very fun to embody for that five years. She's a cool character. I'm lucky I didn't get somebody weird, you know, then I would be iconically remembered as a weird person. Um, let's see. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Emily Osmond. Thank you for watching my video Q&A. Hope you were enthralled. And uh, check out SaturdayNightOnline.com.